hello hello welcome back to my channel i am julia if you did not know and today i'm going to be flipping through my 2020 journal um, i'm not going to be doing a page by page setup here just because i've been working on it before i had the idea of filming any of this so we're going to be doing a quick flip through um, with the pages that I've set up so far. And then I will be setting up a spread for a trip to Atlanta that I'm taking in January for work, but I'm gonna try to make it fun since my boyfriend is coming with me and you know, he's never gotten to explore Atlanta. So should be fun, let's get to it. So this is my 2020 bullet journal. I'm not even going to attempt to say what it says on the front in French, but it does mean ready to write. I really liked the pattern of this notebook it's just really cute really fun i actually made the elastic closure in the back i could do a video on that let me know if you guys want to see a video on that but it seemed necessary to have this is the title page i was experimenting with some gel pens but it did bleed a little bit just fine set up my index page and my key and then the future log. And these are the places that I want to travel this year. As you can see, we have Vienna, Bratislava, and Budapest, which is gonna happen for Christmas, hopefully. Books I want to read, very small bookshelf compared to my last one, just because I'm a slow reader have my top songs from my Spotify wrapped list. So just my top 10 to 15 songs there. And then my 2020 cover page, which was super fun. is kind of collage look. This has become one of my favorite spreads and it's just 2020 in photos. So whether it's a Polaroid or if I'm printing out photos, I like to see the photos of every month of the year. I also like to write in any logos that I do for the year I'm a graphic designer, so I like to keep track with that. And also just social media dimension since I do work in social media a lot. Um, I have my period tracker and then Cam is my boyfriend and I like to keep up with his sizes so it's easy to buy gifts. And we've made it to my January monthly cover spread. I'm going for a blue light extravaganza new year look without being super super cliche and I got these stickers in Paris and I used a few of them to kind of accentuate with the stars and the the ooh la la so and this is the monthly spread pretty self-explanatory got the calendar a quote some of my goals and highlights for the month And I try something new with the habit tracker this time around. I'm just gonna color in the day. If I did the habit for the day, I'll just color in a box instead of trying to make it like a calendar. We have my mood lighting and also the box a day. This was a spread, the 2020 bills that I just changed up from last year. I got the idea from Amanda Rachel Lee of just having one spread for uh, the bills. And I also put tape along the edge to make sure I can get to that page super quick and then brain dump for any notes and then we have our first monthly well my our first weekly spread with just the days of the week it's a short one we have some tasks and notes on the right side so now I'm ready to set up the travel to Atlanta spread I really like how the 2020 setup came out and how my January turned out. It's different than a lot of the January setups that you're seeing right now, but it's still very cute and very festive. So with the Atlanta spread, I wanted to set up a few different boxes. And so this is just me setting up the boxes with pencil first. It's just easier to fix mistakes and pencil and then go back over them. So the boxes I'm making are the things to do, restaurants to try, because I love food, um, a packing list, a day-to-day -day activity list, so 
kind of like a mini calendar of just the time that we're going to be there and then a notes section in the lower right so if there's anything that I need to remind myself of right before we go or while we're there that would be the place to write it in and you'll see me kind of flip back and forth between different pages and that's just so I can keep the January theme consistent so if I'm using certain colors or certain font or different embellishments on the boxes that I keep them all somewhat consistent I do like to change them up here and there but for the most part I like to keep it pretty consistent You'll also notice I don't really use rulers that often, not at all in this setup, mostly just because I like that humanistic look, especially in this spread, for the borders to be kind of not perfect and for the shadows to be not so perfect. So you won't really see me using a ruler. So now I'm just gonna add in some of that lighting that you saw earlier in the January spreads, just to keep it again consistent, and then add the lettering in the center. So for the word Atlanta, I'm using the Tombow Fudenosuke soft tip brush pen. Usually I prefer the hard tip brush pen from the Tombow Fudenosuke, but the soft tip worked really well for this. Just a softer, less controlled edge. Top it off with a little Georgia peach and some random little triangle just to kind of draw your eye to the center. I'm also going to add some washi tape to the sides just to again tie in the look for the January theme. And then for the final touch, I'm going to write for work, but we can still have fun at the bottom just to remind myself that I'm here for work, fine, but we can still have fun while we're here. And there you have it, my 2020 bullet journal setup, my January setup, and a fun little bonus travel spread. So thank you guys for tuning in to another video. Please like and comment and let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.